Good evening. How do we have a few cards to share tonight? We do. <laughs> All on the last chance list. We're going to be going through the annual catalog. It's Tim and Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch. And I just saw a question about how to get to my blog. It's really easy. KarenTitus.com. You can do KarenTitus.com or StampingOnTheBackPorch.com. And you know, every week there's a new project sheet to download. So, and you'll want to get on my mailing list there because I send a new card PDF each week. Plus you get the supply list for our Thursday things. So a little sneak peek. This is a new month. We are now into April and this is one of, do you see how there's two colors? This is that gorgeous paper. Let's see if we can see it. That's kind of that scalloped rough edge. It's a specialty paper. I don't know if you can see it, but they're actually so gorgeous. Cards. April showers and then what? Mayflowers? Oh, we're so ready for oh, that. Yes. And of course there is a new house code. And the host code is important for tomorrow. But if your order is 150, you know, you don't ever use the host code because then you are you are getting the host benefits. Three so, yelling children, seven children yelling. Karen. <laughs> Karen Deer. Karen okay. Deer. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's it. And feel free to call me tomorrow, 612-929-1277 if you need help putting an order in. Um, the sale price starts at 1 a.m. And I'm sure, Tim, you're going to stay up, aren't you? So you can start oh, ordering. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> so, but just in case, but don't delay on the things in the retirement list. They're going to go fast and we never know which ones go first. So, you know, no one knows. So tomorrow's a big day. So I'm planning to be home. So you can call me if you have questions. Anyway, that's all good. Let's start looking at cards. Okay, let's, okay, so we're going to go through, I'm going to show the blank, the blank desk here. Um, and I am not doing every stamp set that's retiring. I'm just doing some that I found some cards for. Can we do these two? Uh, yeah, yeah, if there's time at the end. Okay. Um, so this is Nothing's Better Than, and I just wanted to show, I, I had done a. That is one fat catalog. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Sometimes you just want a plain, simple little card. And I love this. You make everything better. I did uh, I did this one on a single layering, just um, really quick cards once. But I thought, I like that. It just looks very nice. And then I also did this one. A day without cookies, because, you know, we got to have cookie monster. cookie monster. So those are just a couple of fun ideas to do with. With that set. <laughs> cookie. Cookie. And then page 23. Um, a bunch of you are asking about Tim's sister. I'll be putting an update in the backport stampers right after this tonight. We are having a family call with her daughter. So we're really, um, looking forward to that, but, um, she's doing quite well, but I will put an update in there and thank you for asking. Um, a lot of, you know, Mary, cause she's done many videos with us and she is on my team and we are very close to her and she's out in California. So there'll be an update there. And thanks to you guys that are sending her cards. I just, that is just so precious and meaningful. Okay. Page 23, Paradise Palms. I'm going to show a couple here. Every now and then we show a couple because I, because I like to do side by side, um, showing contrasting ideas. This is a card from Laura, Laura Nibby. It was a personal card. Um, Actually, it was her Christmas card. I just love this. Sunny season's greetings because she moved from Minnesota to Florida. Is that gorgeous? But I think this is a gorgeous card. She's using oceanfront, which is not discontinuing. Look how pretty that is. But those palm trees, that is Thanks. absolutely Thanks. stunning. And then I love this one too by Katherine Anderson. And I just love the, you know what? This isn't the same. <laughs> That's too funny. This isn't the same. They're not, I do this all the time, you guys. They're not the, they're not the same. This might be from another retired set, well, but yeah. this is this one. Yeah. This is not that one. <gasps> Maybe this one isn't retiring, but can I just say you could do this in that card? Just like it. So see, we can visualize. Oh, it is. It, it is, is the same. Is. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling a little distracted today, running around. Um, it was so fun. We had Hank for the weekend, our grandson, and he he helped me go through retired stamps as the last chance. So we've just been busy organizing. Um, so it was very fun. Okay. I'm back to saying, I love showing both of these, but you see, I didn't uh, think these were the I same see. stamp set when I looked at them. And I think that is the beauty of what a stamp set does when you have things that, you know, coordinate and they're similar, but they're a little different, but isn't this stunning too? 
Did I tell you who this was? Um, I think I got to. Oh, yeah, Catherine Anderson. But look how pretty this is when you're just seeing part of it. You see it goes off on the edge. It just goes off all over. The words are here. And then just this lovely layering. I just think both of these cards are absolutely stunning. And they're both, and on totally. page, both on page 23. Yes. See? So see, look at the variety you can make. <laughs> okay. Page 25. We have a lovely and lasting. As you know, I love this. The stamp goes with the punch. And then you see there are words to go inside. And then also the flowers that you can stamp and cut out. So I think that's really pretty. Oh, Tim's bundling up. He's adding a layer here. So it must be cool in here. He's freezing today. <laughs> why, why am I freezing here? Well, we decided to have lunch outdoors today. And I think it was probably a little cold. I think we're rushing the season. <laughs> yes. I am but you chill. now you guys know whose idea that was, right? <laughs> and how long did I last? <laughs> I he ended up going inside. But anyway, I had a lovely time sitting reading the outside in the cold one. Okay, page 27. Yeah, that's kind of how our life goes here. But I just said today was supposed to be the nicest day of the week. So I wanted to have one day outside. Okay, the flowering tulips on page 27. And look at this stunning card. And this is from Ruth Bingle. Ooh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta move this. It's a fun fold. So we gotta have a little more space here. But isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. So it's gonna stand like that. And just really a gorgeous card. Okay, then you've made those, right? No, the, oh, I'm telling the names of who made them. No, but did you did you ever clap? Ever have a oh, oh, I've made that fold, and we can always do them again. So it's always That's good great. to find great. out. Oh, but I love that. that. Um, page twenty nine, and this is a card that I got from uh, Donna, who worked. She's retired and we miss her, but she worked at the home office and she sent this to me for my million dollar in sales, which is a couple of years ago. And you know, I've kept it. I had to show you a couple of things about this. So look at this gorgeous dyes from these poppies, oh, these dyes and look how they stand alone. But then there's also stamp set that goes with them. So those are amazing. But I also think this is the cutest background just with little circles. Ooh. Is that just fun? That was very nice. Oh, 90 degrees in Texas. Oh, yeah. You you guys that just have warm weather. <laughs> okay, then we have page 32. The new catalog, I can order them tomorrow, but I can't expedite ordering. So um, then I'll, you will get them sometime in April. They start in May. So uh, you'll be looking forward to them. So right now we have the discontinued list and... Uh, you know that tomorrow I'm going to overnight some things, so I'll have an unboxing. So I will tease you with some of the new stuff on Wednesday. So be watching for that. All depends on when my delivery comes. And then I'll announce when I will go live because <laughs> I just can't wait to show new things. Okay, this is Patty Chenille, and this was on page 32, the Simply, Simply Succulents. Love how she colored. It looks like tin. And then just that with the green mm -hmm. and then the little darker green. I think this is really pretty. In that. Mm -hmm. So a very pretty card. Um, uh, yes, sometimes I've spiral bound by my, my uh, catalog. But the real reason, even if it's spiral bound, it wouldn't lay flat because it's full of cards. <laughs> so that's, for my one time at the end here. But I do sometimes. Problem. Yeah, I don't think I just have too many cards. Okay, page 34. But that's why I'm telling you numbers if you have your catalog handy. So. We're going to do 34 and 35. We're going to do a little cheesy, celebrate sunflowers, and cheerful basket. Okay? So we're, looking, we're going to look at all three. And you keep forgetting that people want you to leave the... Yeah, I know, but it's so high. It is so, yeah. So right is. now when I'm showing a bunch, I'm just doing this. But we said, it might sound cheesy, but I think you're great. So this is a double flap open card made by Susan Miller. Isn't that fun? So just for kind of clever cards. I have to say something about Celebrate Sunflowers. I love, I have probably a dozen cards to show. Next week, I'm just going to show random cards, you know, the ones that I have a lot for. I have a ton for the sunflowers that are all gorgeous. Look at how beautiful this it is. is beautiful. I think this is a stunning card, and it is by Kim Williams. Love how she's it's done so the rich. coloring. And you see how that is. And then it's blended out. we got a little red there and then the yellows. 
Mm. That is just gorgeous. It is. Absolutely stunning card. And a shiny piece of paper behind there, whatever mm -hmm. that is. Um, Rebecca says she really should have that cheese stamp so she lives in Wisconsin. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes I think you probably should. <laughs> and then I'm going to show two for the Celebrate Basket. I have to show this one. Look how cute this is with the craft thing. So for a crafter, it's a great card. It also is a great card if you're giving craft supplies to somebody. Wouldn't this just be the perfect card to go with it? I think you guys have an ex-quarterback you could make some nice sympathy cards for. Yes. And send it to him. And this is from Martha McLean. And I just love that. I, I, I just say, and I love the two apples here too. I, what a cute card. And then it also has that adorable bunny. So this card is from Mary Kylie. The cat. The cat. And to think that those are out of, did, did I say bunny? Oh my yes. goodness. Oh my yes, goodness. you did. Okay. To think that these are from the same stamp set is just really fun. But <laughs> I thought, isn't that cute? And that's a scissors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to play. Name that object with Karen yep. before we right. go have to take that test to the doctor's office, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, if any of you failed that. <laughs> okay, page 37. And this is the best butterflies bundle. Oh, the paper too. And I think a bunch, I think this paper is going to be on sale tomorrow too. But the dies and the stamp set. So this is, this one's using the dies and I guess the stamp. So she's used, used both, but I just think mm -hmm. that is a pretty card. I love that. And this has lost its name, Oh no! but love this card. Then when we get halfway through the catalog, I'll be able to lay it flat. Okay. One of the stamp sets I'm going to really miss. And I'd mentioned this before is page 39 and I love the flowers, but what I'm really going to miss the dies have these two sizes and there are all these words that fit in them. And I often want little words, not even to put on these, but just in general, little words to fit on a card to tuck in. So this one I, I will really miss for the words. But here is a stunning card that doesn't use the words. This is by Terry Gaines. And look how stunning this is. Pretty. Do you see how pretty this is? Yep. So it's stamped. And then if you can peek under there enough, it's stamped in green and die cut. And then stamped again in... Uh, uh, Orange. Pumpkin pie, maybe one of one of the oranges, and die cut out and popped up on the green. So you're seeing the green down there, and I love how she's added little rhinestones there, and they still sit under. They're not even bumped up because those are raised. But I just think that is a stunning card. Very nice. Next, okay, we are on page forty-one. We've got the Sunny Splash. I love the vintage swimsuits. And then we have this really lovely, Simply Fabulous. I think the styling of the words here, like you are Simply Fabulous, just saying hello, there's beauty and everything. And then these flowers. I'm going to show you two cards that are beautiful. I think this a set like this is easily overlooked. So first we're going to show a retro, <laughs> just the retro colors here I think is amazing. This is Sandy Reese. And I just love those retro colors. <laughs> and it goes with, this is the host paper. And see, this is the retro too, but I just think that's so fun. Hello, mm -hmm. sunshine. And the little pearls down the swimsuit and the little button and the little thing on the side. Uh, these are the swimsuits you don't see anymore, you know, on the beaches. But I just think those are just really fun. And look at these other two cards. These are both absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Just saying hello. Doesn't that just make you happy? This is Marianne Grimmer. I just think these colors are just stunning and I love how it's cut off. And on this paper, she put the words just saying hello. And then here is another one. This is Anne Van Willigan. And she's got the words. I like the styling in these words, but she's got the words. So this could be a punch or a die, whatever. But do you see how these things just come out from under it? And that's popped up. And then she has an accent. Mm -hmm. All of the, both of these cards are using... The in colors for this year, they're still around for another year. And I think those colors just, they're just fun. That, that They look so springy and fun. And three hearts. Yep. Floating away. Yep. And see, they're even in here. Isn't that interesting? There's even hearts in here. But I just think the styling. Separate, uh, let's celebrate for you. Hooray, a note. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Said her name. Yep. I did. Let's see what else we have. And then we have on page 47... We have the happier than happy, 
which also has really cute paper in it, but I like this one. One of the dyes in here are these trees. I just love these tree dyes and they would look great alone. But I thought, but these are just really fun. Maybe so she's done this as a, <laughs> Tim is going to get, he's going to, I'm going to refuse to answer. I'm going to plead the fifth here, but she's done this as a Christmas card. And isn't that cool? So putting a star and a little Christmas background, mm -hmm. that's just what a darling little idea to just use something like that. So that, that is great. Okay. Now I see it. Now I think I can leave these here. So if we go to page 48, we have the elephant parade and I have two cute cards here to show. This first one is Kessler, I'm thinking it's Diane Kessler, but it's Kessler. And this one is Teresa Westerman. And what I wanted to, here, what I wanted to show <laughs> was that these are both adorable cards and they both used the sitting elephant with the, those palm leaves or whatever they are on top. Uh, big leaves, they're not palm leaves, but what are those, those big leaves. The, the, uh, but isn't that cute how they've both done that and yet the cards are totally different. I know. And, and Dan Kessler is, is Isla's mom. Oh, no, I don't, I'm probably getting the name wrong, Tim. <laughs> but it is, a, um, but anyway, fun ideas for, so yeah, I could be totally wrong, but it's just the last name on there. But I just think these are so cute with the little additions. Very cute. Okay, and then we have Party Puffins. I think this is just an adorable card. This is this is Rosemary Gonzalez, and I love this. I love this one. I've always done this like stomping, like he's gonna step on the cake, or you know, or he's just doing a happy dance. Look how cute that is when he's yep. up in the air with the balloon. Is that just stinking cute? I just it think that is so fun. Dancing, or he's going to jump. Either way, or he's being carried out by whatever Ooh, he's doing. Yeah. But I just think it's a really fun, really a fun card. I, I think this is such a cute set, this Party Puffins. Reminds me of the movie Up. And I do not know who to credit this card. Oh, yeah, I do. Good. Letitia Dinkle, because there's so much work in this card. I thought I hate it when I miss a name on somebody. Okay, this is Peekaboo Farm. Page 54. And these dyes, I believe, Whoa, are still saying, saying, but look how cute this is. Look at this, Tim. Yes. Oh, horse. I'll have to give this to you for your birthday because you'll yes. forget you've seen it the by cow. then. But is that cute? I so you got the cow and it's happy birthday from all the little, all the little friends here. Is that just that adorable? Is adorable? That is absolutely cute. Which one should we leave it on? Should we leave it on? We'll leave cow. it on the cow. Yes. Okay, right there for Tim. That yes. is so, so cute. And then we have this birthday piggy, which is really on a huge sale tomorrow. If you don't have this cute little set. I love this card where you're looking through the window. So you've got a window sheet there. Mm -hmm. And I really expected when I opened it to see it inside, but mm -hmm. it but it didn't. And this one, this is the one that's lost its name, but I really like the, just that look, looking in the window and there's the. Is it kind of how you make a shaker card? Oh, could be. This could easily be a shaker card. Mm -hmm. Couldn't it? That would be, that would be fun. Um, okay. So I, see, I just love going through and looking at things. Now I have two for this one too. This is 57. I thought these were. Really fun because they're so dramatically different. Now, this is Abigail Rose paper. And a bunch of the papers, and I don't remember which ones, are on sale tomorrow, too. I love the Abigail Rose paper. Tonight, we're going to look at the actual stamp sets. Look at how fun this is. Am I in the... Yeah, good. I have to double check that I'm doing the right stamps. But look how this is stamped. Only the green is colored. Mm -hmm. And then it's made into squares. And cut apart. Isn't that cool? You can see how they're cut apart right there. Very cool. Isn't that? I just love that. And then for a true friend right there. And this is made by Sylvie Drader, who is in Canada. And I was just with her at an event, and she brought the card. And then look at this one. Both stunning, totally different looks. This is Suzanne Taylor, and this is her inside, that little bit of, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of... Oh, yeah. Sponging right there. It's very soft. You see it more up here. Do you see how it's uneven on purpose? It's very artistic. And then this is lightly sponged to it. Well, it's in the middle and then it goes out, but not all the way. You see that interesting sponging and lots of white space. And both of these are stunning cards and they are nothing alike. I just I think they are just absolutely gorgeous. Next. Very nice. Okay, pot of geraniums on 58. 
oh, I have two cards with this too. I'm going to show them side by side. Look how gorgeous. And again, totally different. Okay, so this one's a little more, um, oh, love what she did inside too. This is Shelly Gruber. This is the Abigail Rose paper that we were just looking at on the other page with those lines. So it looks very vintagey. Mm -hmm. I just love this. And with this popped out, I, that's just, I think an absolutely, I like what she did with the different colors. Isn't that pretty? And then this one is just totally different. Ebby Di Piazza. Look how cool this is. I think this is with uh, Hues of Happiness. Am, am I right? Someone might tell me um, if we, when we come to that page, I'll look and see if that's the die from there. But I love how you're seeing the um, mm. sweet sorbet it probably is coming through. And then all this built up around it. Nice. Isn't that gorgeous? So really fun techniques here too. Then next, this big hooray. Which I think is also on sale. I think this is, uh, let's see, this is Carrie Todd. But I thought, what a great simple card when you just want to celebrate something. I, I just think this is great. And this would be a great masculine card, great um, kids for anyone, but just anything you're celebrating. I love the simplicity of it. Mm -hmm. It's just very, very stylized. Yeah. Pat's laughing because she's one of these sets is one she hasn't used yet. Yeah, I don't want to tell you how many I haven't used of mine either. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll go to page 65, and we have Fresh Cut Flowers, and this is by Ruth Varel, and this is another totally interesting look. This is done with those other, these dies are retiring too. Picture, are they picture perfect or something, where they do the rectangles? We've seen them in all different ways, but you see how this would have been stamped twice. Oh, no, it's just stamped once and then put through the die cut thing. And then the raised parts are colored. Mm -hmm. So it's a spotlighting technique, which is very cool. Very nice. I like that. And then we have page 67, the True Beauty Bundle. And I'm just sharing, this is um, when we're in India, Indiana for one of the I don't remember. Some, some of us got these. So Stampin' Up! made these, but I th just thought these were cute. So this was on a tag on a gift that we got. And then this was a tag on another little gift. And I just thought they were really cute. I love this little congrats. This could be a little happy birthday. You know, this could say anything. But I thought, isn't this a cute little mm -hmm. tag to put on something? So we have these four things that are all just connected with that little tie. But you could also just do that on the card. And I just think these are just really pretty. So that's fun. And then we've got, this is really an ornate card from page 68, Nature's Harvest. I'm gonna show you a really pretty card here. Oh, would you look at this? This is, this is the same die used on this card that I'm using in one of the card kits this month. Ooh. So, ah, double idea, I just realized that now. Look how pretty that is. It is. Very elegant. She's even got this little gold piece in there. And this is a uh, Colleen Curl. Oh, we make quick work of this, don't we? We just, we get through them. Then we have on page 70, we have the olive branch. This is Kathy Chapman. And she has stamped green on green and then put it through an embossing folder. Mm. So it's a very kind of a very soft look there. Which is cool. And it says, sorry. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now we're going to page 72. The Amazing Silhouettes. This is a stunning card by San Sandy Reese. Look at that, from that to that. I love these colors all day your way. <laughs> but I love this and with the brown texture. Just the layout mm -hmm. of this card, I think, is just very elegant. And I just think this is really an interesting stamp concept. And I think it just stamps up really nicely. It's just very different. Where does that sentiment come from? Oh, another stamp set. Another page. Okay. <laughs> I could set you to looking for it. That's you know? okay. <laughs> but, I, but I just think that's great. Then we have Flowers of Friendship. And let's see. Here's Flowers of Friendship. And this is Kim Williams. And this is that center flap card that we will um, we just go. So, tell you, call them right back. Um, it, and what I wanted to point out about this, there is a stamp, a punch that goes with this, that punches these out. But do you see how this stamp is this? And then these two flowers are put right over that. So it's changing out that flower for those. Isn't that cool? 
Yeah. Oh, Pat said school tomorrow was just canceled. Where are you? So let's see where the weather is at already. Oh, I know we're expecting storm again tomorrow night, which is amazing. And then this has been a beautiful cart, uh, stamp set. Forever Fern has that really cool watercolor look. I'm going to show you two here. This is Kelly Schutte. And this is, this has lost its name. So I'm going to show two different styles here, but it's the same. So notice this is similar to that other card I showed where the punch out piece or the words are in the middle and then the stamps go out around it, which is a really cool technique. Oh, Hill City, South Dakota. Okay, yes. Okay, and then you're, you're sending it our way. So, oh my goodness. But it's good if they cancel and get right ahead of it. Then there are dies. So this one is die cut. And then we have the, uh, I, I just think that's just really pretty how that, that's all done. Okay. Oh my goodness, Bobby hasn't had electricity since Saturday. Oh my goodness, that is a long time. Boy, I know just looking at some of the devastation different places. So, um, and, and nobody wants your weather, Pat, but people are saying they don't want it over here. Oh my goodness, everyone stay safe. I said, it is really... Really amazing. Okay, page 74. April so far has uh, come in like a lion. Honeybee home. So I'm going to show two cards here. And you see they've got the fun little bee on, e on uh, each of these. And they both are using a hexagon. So it's really interesting. This is a small one. It's like this has fallen right out. And it's got the bee. And then these flowers are stamped monochromatically on the back. This is lost its name. This one is Carol Nordquist. And if you'll notice, she's used the beehive, which is also disappearing, on cardstock there, and she's used it on vellum under here. So totally different looks and beautiful cards. Oh, North Dakota school's canceled too, so I don't know. Sorry. And then Blessings of Home on page 75. Here's another cool technique card. Let's see, this one doesn't have a name anymore either. But usually we take stamps like this and then color them in, or even if we leave them monochromatic. Well, check out this idea. This is stamped in black, and then you mask it. So you could use masking tape, um, sticky notes, anything to put over it. And then she's colored over it, and then you remove it, and so that's masked. And Ooh. isn't that an interesting background, an interesting look? So that's not glued on the top. No, it's, no, wow. it's a, it's... Just yeah. one layer. It's a single layer. I think that's... Yeah, I've watched you do that before. Yeah, that's so that's, cool. that is very cool. Okay, page 76. We're going to show two here with the Speedy Recovery. I love this card. This is uh, Karen Braxton. I love how she did the bright stripes here to go with the three and how mm -hmm. these two are layered and then this one's popped up. The texture Ooh. in that is just so fun. And then look at this card, which doesn't, this is Marcia Gay, and this is the flowers, and it says, I'm here for you, but this could be a birthday card or anything else. So this could be, so could the vase. Mm -hmm. um, and I just thought, well, and so could the teacup. But I just thought, so even when you look at something like Speedy Recovery, it doesn't have to all be get well cards. I think that is very cool. And then <laughs> here's a great card. I need to still send this one to the people that fixed our computer in Arkansas. Look at this. This is the tech support. And look at how cool this is. Thanks for fixing my computer. <sighs> Just love this card. That's Deb Snyder. Love the colors. Love everything about it. We have to do that. And then here's one of my favorite sets. I don't have a ton of people to make cards like this for, but I sure love it. Adventurous Journey. And look at this. Now, I'm thinking this background stamp is also going away. Someone could tell me for sure. This is Barb Ryder. So I love the colors, how she's mm -hmm. colored this. And then do you see again how this was masked? And these are the little circles from the paddle in the water. So this was masked. And then that big stamp put over it, it looks like water. I yeah, think I, this is I so artsy. Yep. I think this could be framed. Yep. You know, it's just a, and it's just a perfect card for an adventurous soul. And then on page 86, Bambi Beauty. It's another, I just think this is a favorite Beauty. card. What did I say? Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> Carla Starry. Look at how gorgeous this is. And this is on top. This is vellum. Ooh. That she's colored on vellum. 
and then stamped right over the whole thing. And those soft colors, and I think th that is, is that absolutely here, stunning. What is that? No, this is a ribbon. Oh, okay. it's just a ribbon put around. Oh. Is that a gorgeous, gorgeous mm -hmm. card? Oh, this background stamp. Someone can tell us. It, it, it'll be in here. I'll set it aside because we're going to get to that. And we aren't going to get to the small catalog tonight. So we'll cover that um, next week and maybe more of these since we do have a family meeting to go to here. Treasured Kindness on page 89. Another pretty card with that. I think that's fine. Oh, and here is the same die that I was going to look up because we saw it on this other, other one that was really pretty. And this is Linda Cullen. I'm going to set that aside right there. Oh, and I forgot this was on the uh, vintage tools. You're plain awesome. And this was Ginny Merck. And if we miss that one right here, another, another great stamp set. If you know, partly when you're looking at stamps that think about who you send cards to. So part of it is what you like yourself and others is um, how much use you would get out of something, you know? And sometimes, you know, people say it's just harder to come up with more masculine cards. So it's just fun. Sometimes we point that out. But okay, page 95, the jar of flowers. I have a lot of gorgeous cards with the jar of flowers too. So you're going to see more. Even if they sell out, I'm going to show you some more. Um, but this is Barb Tetzloff. And I think it's really cool. Uh, she's colored that in a uh, pool party. So it looks like water in there. And then she's gone around the flowers there too. And blended that in. So it's a cool look. Then we have, um, oops, wrong page. Okay, we're gonna go to 102. We've got Shaded Summer. What I love about this card, this is Lisa Schultz. I love how this is just monochromatic. Do you see how it's just, this card is basically monochromatic, but it has two tones of green. But do you see how it's got mm -hmm. that, the little gingham? And just set off a little, so it's all just in greens and it's just so ribbon. pretty. Very nice. We love it when we get people from across the world, you know, Australia, UK. It's so fun. Then this one, Beauty of Friendship on 104. It's been around a while, but if you don't have it, it's a last chance. Look at this simple, elegant card. I think this has lost its name. What a great mm. card for anything. It's just yep. this and this. Two stamps. And then she put the words across. And totally, totally elegant. Mm. And um just a great way for easy cards. And then look at this one. If you want a technique card, this is Kim Vale. And you'll see how this is this with the smaller one. So she's just made it like a smaller tree. You just see the top part in this. And then this is all sponged in. Same trunk? Yep, same Come trunk. Here. You're just seeing the top of it. So it looks short on here. But it's the same trunk, different top. Um, and a technique kind of looking through at a sunset. So that's just kind of fun. Then let's see. Then we have the uh, page 107 hand pen petals. And this just shows how pretty that is. This is a two step stamp. This is Colleen Magnus. It's a book binding card. And you see how that's in there. And then you put all these inside things, put all these. Oh, so this is the one it is. So then that goes in there. That one goes in there. Isn't that fun? How you mm -hmm. just build that? And it kind of looks like a watercolor. Okay, this is the one that I'm, yes, this is the one on 109, Hues of Happiness, which is one of my favorite papers ever. Um, well, I don't think, that, this isn't the one that had the other dies, but it's similar. But you see these dies go right in there and then it's stamped. This card is Amy's Story. Very pretty. And then we have Uniquely Artistic on 114. This is Linda Borchert. Now, this is, uh, I showed a gorgeous card last week, if you saw using these. This is using the flower, and it's not using the insides at all, just the outline. I love how she did the th three, and not colored in, and then adding a bit of green. I think it's really pretty in the birthday in the middle. And then this is the page. Okay, this is the dry brush, was this one that we were looking at. This is dry brush. Is that gorgeous for water? So it is leaving. And then I have a couple others here. This is um, this one, Pretty Medallion. Sometimes when you look at these big stamps, you're just not sure what to do with them. I love this. Look at the whole thing isn't on there. It goes off the mm -hmm. edge. And then Happy Birthday done in blues. This is Karen Ross. I love that. And then this one right here, Bouquet of Thanks. Look at these two. Mm -hmm. Totally different, but both striking. This is just done in starry sky, so it's monochromatic. 
Janice Waitman. This one is stamped in early espresso and then um, some light colors added in there with the thank you. This looks very vintage. Yeah. This reminds me of that, that blue willow dishes or something, kind of a study in blues. And this looks very vintagey. And then, you know, that looks kind of like wood. I just think they're both beautiful. And this doesn't have a name, but these are both beautiful. And then this one. So look what you can do with just these big flowers. Let's see this. This one right here, Daisy Garden. Uh, black and white with a touch of yellow. You know, yellow or pink just works so well. But that's really pretty with the yellow in the background. And I would tend to look at something like this and think, oh, I'll make yellow daisies if I'm doing a yellow and black card. Mm -hmm. I love that that's all black and white. And the yellow is on the outside with the trim in black. Suggestive. Uh, and that has lost its name. And then I just wanted to show a couple. These are dyes. And we're basically out of time. But these are dyes. But... Um, Oh, and I should look at. So I'm just I'm just going to show them to you because I know dyes disappear. So let me see. You guys might know which ones these are. This is a die that's going, and I just think this is a soft, lovely card. Do you see how these pop up? If you want to know after look, and this was a card I got from Anita Bold. So um, I, I just wanted to show that because I thought that's really cool. Let's see if I can find these. Uh, this up here, rugged icons. Ooh, oh yeah. I wasn't sure what to do with that, but look how simple that is. So very Mary, so she did it as a Santa. But all of these, look at the fishing. Look mm -hmm. how stunning that is, just doing it on solid colors, very simply. And then at one point, we have the tulips. I showed the tulip stamp set, and then this is the tulip dies. Oh, and they would be right down here at 175. What does mini mean? Mini mean? They'll fit into the mini machine. Oh, so okay. if you just have the mini machine. Oh, okay. um, and we need to go because we do have a family conference. But thanks, you guys, so much for spending this time with you. And I'll be around all day tomorrow. So call me if you need any help, uh, if you have any questions. Uh, and thanks. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you. And then the next day, we'll do an unboxing. And the next day, we'll do something else fun again. So fun again like these weren't. No. <laughs> we'll create together again. So uh, my newsletter goes out first thing in the morning. So if you're signed up for that, you'll get the new supply list and all of that. So good night, all. Goodbye.